Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to use strokes in After Effects for morph animation. I use these techniques a lot. So here is some examples from the past I did. So this technique is pretty cool. It gives a hand draw style for your animation. So let's jump into it. So we're going to create a new composition and we will import our two animation. It can be a, a sequence or can be your After Effects projects. It can be anything. I use my walking cycle animation from a path tutorial and my space monkey animation. So just position your two animation where you want to. Trim my composition quickly. And the next step, I'm going to set anchor points for each animation. So hit Y or use anchor point tool and you can reposition anchor point. So this is this will be important later. So next step, create a new shape layer and we're going to draw one line between the two animation or object you have and we're going to set some keyframes and color for the line so add a trim path for your line and hit start and end keyframes And I'm going to start the animation from the monkey to the guy. And also I set a rounded cap for the line. And also hit for the color. So later on we can animate the color. Once you have these three keyframe, now just copy and paste your line. Use pen tool to reposition your new lines. Make sure it's close to the other one. And try to use as much as possible for the lines. Once you have all of your lines, hit U and you will see only the keyframes for each line. I'm going to animate the lines from the monkey first to my, my character. So set up your trim pass like that. And I select all of them and hit F9 to smooth the animation. So the next step is select all of your starting uh, keyframes and just delay them a couple of keyframes until you see the lines. It should start always the same color from your first animation and my lines ends up in the, in the skin and the hair so during the animation they turn to the different color so the white lines and the ear lines are going to turn to the hair color and the skin color
if you have two different animation with different colors it's not a problem as you can see when the animation happens it just the lines turns to a different color we're going to animate some scale bounce animation which helps to transition our animation our object to lines so we're going to create a bounce animation so first it just goes smaller preparing for animation and stretches out when the line starts to grow so the next step is we're going to draw a mask on our animation the shape is very important it's going to look like a brush stroke Once you have your mask, hit M and going to invert the mask. So the mask going to uh, make a disappear animation for, for our animation. So go to the end when you want to disappear your animation and just grab the uh, vector points and drag your mask over it. And we're going to easy ease the mask animation so start slower and accelerate as you can see it just disappears and the bit the line looks like the actual monkey disappears and turns to like a brush strokes so we have to do the same thing for the the second animation but we have to reveal with this brush stroke draw like a brush stroke mask again over your animation so when you finish your mask go hit M and we're going to animate the mask so we have to reveal our second animation so go to the end and grab your vector points hit command T or control T on Windows and reveal your animation and release the selection with enter and and hit F9 for last keyframe so basically it's going to slow down our mask should slow down to make the animation nicer so the next step we have to adjust the mask sometimes to be to make the transition smooth as, as possible motion graph editor you can play with the acceleration so I'm going to modify the mask a little bit to look like a bit more rough brush stroke to make the transition a bit more smoother. Feel free to play with your mask, it's very important how you use your mask animation to reveal your secondary animation. So for the best result try to use more lines, it's going to make your animation nicer and try to make your mask transition nice as possible and smooth your end keyframe really nice and this basically it's going to help transition the lines to your object so for the next step we're going to animate the scale for our second object so make sure hit the stopwatch for your object and we're going to make a bounce animation which is going to help to transition the lines to our second animation or the, our second object. So after when you finished the keyframes, select all and hit F9 to smooth your animation and try to position your keyframes in the right spot. When the lines end, it helps to smooth the actual movement into your object and the last step is we're going to delay each line 
a little bit so it doesn't look like the same so it looks like a more brush stroke So that's it guys, this is how to use stroke technique for morph animation. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and please subscribe for more videos like this. You can follow me on Twitter or Instagram. If you have any questions feel free to reach out to me. Until then, see you guys next time.